So you're learning German, but you don't have the German keyboard on your computer. How do you get it? Today I will go over the simplest, easiest, most cost-effective way to get the German keyboard on your computer and start using it right away. Uh, so join me for that. And later this week we'll also be talking about German keyboard layout and how to get the German keyboard on your phone. Uh, so if this is the kind of thing you like hearing about and you also are interested in German grammar and frequently used phrases, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you won't miss a thing. So today I am going to show you how to change the settings on your computer so that you can use the German keyboard. Uh, you do not have to go out and buy a brand new keyboard with the German layout. That just functions as a visual aid. You just have to remember where the letters on the German keyboard are in relation to the keyboard you have. So later this week I will have a video comparing the German keyboard with the English keyboard. So stay tuned for that. But before you can even use that, you need to change your settings. So I'm going to flip this around and we're going to look at my screen as I show you how to do that for German or any language really. Now my computer is a Windows computer and I have Windows 11. I have no idea how you would do this on a Mac, so I apologize for that in advance. Okay, let's look at my screen. First, click on the Start button and this will take you to your Start menu where you will type Control Panel into the search bar. And I've used it a lot lately so it's here at the top. I'm going to click on that. Here in the Control Panel, you want to search for this little world with the clock and it's called Clock and Region. Click on that. That will show all of our kind of international settings for the computer. So you could change the region the computer thinks it's in. You could change the language, whatever you want. Uh, once we are here, we want to click on change date, time, or number formats. And that will bring up this pop-up window. And this pop-up window has a little link called Language Preferences. We are going to click on that. And this is really the vital page here where we are going to add our keyboard. Uh, so that's going to be under Language. Uh, first you see Windows Display Language and you want to make sure that stays in the language that you are most fluent in because this is what all of the apps on your computer are going to show up in. So if you change it to Russian or Chinese or something, there is a good chance you will not be able to navigate to your computer. You will not be able to navigate at all. So leave that with whatever language you're fluent in. Make sure that doesn't change. Uh, down here we have the languages installed on your computer. So I have English and French. Uh, the language at the top is the main language that the apps are going to show up in. So if you see, I can change this to French. That's what my apps will show in now and it automatically moves French to the top. So again, leave that in a language you're fluent in. Now, German is missing. We need German, so we are going to click Add a Language. And I'm just going to type German. I could also type Deutsch, and that would bring up German. Uh, but as you see, here we have Deutsch, Deutschland, German Germany. So that's what I'm going to select. And I'm going to click Next at the bottom. Now you can choose your optional language features. Strictly speaking, the language pack is the most important one, so make sure that's checked. You can do text-to-speech, which means your computer will be able to read German. Uh, might be useful, I don't know. Speech recognition is if you want to order your computer around in German. 
Some people do that. I don't know. And then handwriting. If you want it to be able to recognize handwriting in German. So I have all of these clicked because I'm a German power user. And I want to have all the features. It really doesn't hurt to have them all. Okay, we do not want to click that because that will change the display language. So we are just going to keep these settings up here checked and click install on the bottom left. And now you'll see it's pending and it'll start downloading in a minute. So make sure you have an internet connection when you're doing this because it's downloading from the internet. Okay, now we have it installed. And I use German more than French, so I'm going to put that below English. I'm not sure if it makes a difference after the first language, uh, but I like to have it there. And you can change the country or region. If you want your computer to think that you're in France, you could put France. I just have left it at the United States. Region format recommended. You can just leave that alone. I never change any of these settings down here. So once you've added the language you want, you should be good here. So we'll close out all of that and open Microsoft Word. And in Microsoft Word, I want to type something in English and then type it in German. So I'm going to say, hello, my name is Carly. What is your name? <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. So if I want to say that in German, I'm going to need the German keyboard. I'm going to go down to the bottom right where we have this small cluster of buttons. And one of them is the ENG button, which means English. If you don't see it here, you can press this arrow right here and choose it here. It will say ENG. If the ENG is not in this little cluster of buttons here, you can go to this arrow and you'll find the ENG here. And if you want it to be down here in this cluster, you just hold down uh, the left mouse button and drag it down here and you can have it down there. It's really convenient to have it down there and visible so you know what language you're using. So click on the ENG and all the languages you have installed should be listed. So you can choose German <clears throat> and now the German keyboard is activated. So I can say, Hallo, ich heiße Carly. Wie heißt du? Oops. And there you have it. I'm using the German keyboard. If you want to switch back to the English keyboard, then go down to the DEU, which now means German, click on it, and click on the English keyboard. So if you start typing and there's some funny letters or characters coming out that you didn't expect, you probably didn't switch the keyboard back to English. So you have to do that before it'll work the way you're used to. So that was how to install a German keyboard on your computer for Windows 11. I hope that was helpful and so that you can get started right away using the German keyboard on your computer. If you have any additional questions, just let me know down below and I will be sure and answer those as best I can. But otherwise, happy learning. Tschüss.